Hello everyone, it's Barbara Teckel from Joyful Paws with another reading for you in this video. And today I thought we could ask what is in our highest good in this moment, whether you're watching this video um, now or next week or next year, what is, what is in your highest good at this very moment? What is for your highest good in this very moment? Maybe I should restate it that way, right? So um, the two decks that I'm going to um, pick cards from today are the Power Animal cards from Dr. Stephen Farmer. I love these cards. And then my other current favorite deck of cards is um, Soul Coaching Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle, sh shuffle, <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> I'm going to shuffle the the power animal cards, and again I'm going to ask the cards, what is in your highest good at this moment, whenever it is you are watching this video, because that's how the amazing universe works. That it will be the perfect card and the perfect reading for you no matter when you listen to this. All right, so here we go. I think I'm gonna split the deck in half and I'm feeling called to count six down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that card is Elephant. I don't know if I've had this card recently in a video reading, but I know this card has come up um, quite often. So Elephant Resolve, you will overcome any obstacles. Isn't that true? You know, when we're in the middle of a difficult situation, we tend to get caught up in our head, right? And we can't see clearly. We have no clarity. Um, when, 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 when we're in the middle of a challenge or a big obstacle. An elephant is reminding us that we will resolve this issue, that we will overcome this obstacle. And it's important, I mean, think about the, the vastness of an elephant and how big they are and how grounding they are. An elephant is reminding us of how important it is when we're in this middle of this turmoil and this chaos and, and um, just feeling so scattered that we need to come back to grounding ourselves. And I can't help but think it's popping up in my head about how do you, um, how you, how do you eat an elephant? One small bite at a time. I might not have that exactly right, but I think you know what I mean. Um, and just like life, we just have to take it, you know, little, little steps at a time. Um, and especially through um, challenges that we're going through. All right, so let's see what the soul coaching card has to say and how that fits along with what Elephant had to share with us. So again, these are the soul coaching cards by Denise Lynn. And the day I'm recording this is September 23rd. It's a Saturday, and I don't know about where you are, but I'm here in Wisconsin. And it is supposed to be in the low 90s today. Unbelievable. It's kind of, kind of feels surreal because we've got all the colors that are starting to bloom here um, for fall, but yet it feels like it's we're in the middle of July. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to when, um, when fall temperatures return again. I'm not a happy camper when it's so hot. All right, so let's see what card, what soul coaching card has to go along with elephant resolve and, and to know that you will, you will overcome any obstacle or any challenge. Gratitude. Oh, I love this with challenge. I love this. I love this. Not with challenge. I love this with elephant. This is a glorious time to be alive and I'm so grateful. So even in the middle of challenges and obstacles and I am remembering and, and recalling what Frankie, my little dog that rolled through life in a wheelchair, so amazingly happy that even in those really tough, challenging times, like I remember when she was in her 
had to first go into a wheelchair and I just was beside myself. But oh my goodness, all the blessings and all the joy that came from that. And I was so grateful, so grateful that they make wheelchairs for animals, right? So Frankie taught me that, that even in the middle of a challenge, and just like, you know, we've got Elephant who's reminding us to ground ourselves and to know, to trust, to have faith that we will move through any obstacle or challenge. And while we're in the middle of a challenge, to remember to take time to be grateful, to be grateful for what we have. You know, um, if we can be in gratitude as much as possible, that helps us move through challenges much easier, right? Yeah. So I hope this reading was helpful for you, no matter when you've watched it, which it's either it's been recently or it'll be, you know, a year down the line. I hope it was helpful. I love to hear from you um, and, and to know if it resonated, if you want to share a little bit about how it possibly helped you in the comment section below. I absolutely love to hear that, to know that these readings are being a benefit for you. And it makes me feel really good knowing that this reading helped you. So thanks for being here um, and I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.